Hi, the whole purpose of this video today is to show you how to choose a simple random sample using a table of random digits or table B as it's known in our textbook. The entire purpose of using the table of random digits again is to make sure that we can choose a simple random sample in a correct way. There are three steps we want to take. The first step is we want to label. We want to assign a numerical label to every individual in the population. So you really need to look at the population size as you are assigning those labels. The other important thing is that we make sure all of those labels are the same length. For example, if we have single digit and double digit labels, we have labels that are of different lengths. They should all have the same length. The next thing we want to be able to do is to use the table. We have to specifically write out a protocol for how to use this table. And someone should be able to come behind us, read what we wrote, follow that protocol, and get exactly the same numbers that we got. It should be very specific. We'll deal with this more in class. You'll see a little bit of it in the example. The last step is to identify. Once we've chosen the number of labels that we need to satisfy our sample, we want to make sure that we go back and look at the list that we have and specifically say in context which subjects or individuals will actually participate in that sample. Here is an example from your textbook on spring break. The school newspaper is planning an article on family-friendly places to stay over spring break at a nearby beach town. The editors intend to call four randomly chosen hotels to ask about their amenities for families with children. They have an alphabetized list of all 28 hotels in the town. So let's get started. You can see here that we have a list of all 28 hotels. You can also see here that we have line 130, which is the line that we were asked to choose from table D. So what I want to make sure that we do is we understand how to use that table. Now, considering that we have two digit labels, let's break this line up into two digit numbers. So that's what you see here. I only had enough room to go to 20. If we need more, we can continue on to these last numbers, but I think this line will be enough for us to do what we need to do. So reading across, the first digit we get to is 69, but we've only given, given labels up to number 28. So 69 doesn't fit within that range. Then we go to 5. We can choose digits 0, 5, and that corresponds to the Beach Castle Hotel. Next, we have 16. We'll choose that one also. That corresponds to the Radisson. The next number we get to is 48. Again, we only have 28 hotels. We used 28 as our highest label. 48 does not fall in there, and so we will not use 48. Then we get to 17, which corresponds to the Ramada, so that's another one. And now we're just looking for one more. The next number we see is 87. 87 is not an option because, again, we only have 28 hotels. Then you're going to see 17 again. But we've already chosen hotel number 17, so we don't need to choose that one again. And then as you go through, you'll see that 40, 95 is out of the range, 17 we've already chosen, 84, 53, 40, 64, 89, 87 are all out of the range. And then the last one we get to is 20, which corresponds to the C Club Hotel. So using this table of random digits, we've chosen Beach Castle, Radisson, Ramada, and C Club. Again, watch this video as many times as you need to. I recommend that you try problems in the textbook that correspond to using the simple random sample, especially the odd ones, because you can see the answers and make sure that you're doing this correctly. Post any questions that you have on Edmodo, and we'll discuss this and practice with it in class when we meet again. Enjoy your day.